The Kingdom of the Green Army Men is currently landing a massive beach invasion against the Tan Army Men. The Tans have solid cliff walls to stop the Greens. However, they are seriously understaffed. Currently, they have one eighth of the total Green force. However, they do have dug out large artillery piece positions as well as a few dug in Sherman tanks. Will this and their mortar fire stop the Green Army? Or will they lose the beachhead to this D-Day-esque army men invasion? Yo, what's going on boys? It's Daily here and today we are back with some more army men mod for Men of War Assault Squad 2. Today we have roughly 600 green army men and Sherman tanks invading this D-Day-esque battlefield here with a whole bunch of tans. There's about 100 tans on the battlefield, but that's it. Mainly... What they're working with is just choke points and a few heavy pieces of artillery and mortars. They don't have a lot going for them, so the greens could potentially have a very easy time on this, or the defenses will work the way they're supposed to, and the tans will manage to be victorious. We'll only have a few minutes here to find out, because this is going to be a fast D-Day beach invasion. There's not a lot of beach, and there's not a lot of defenses, so I don't think this will be a very drawn-out battle. It'll be very exciting and very bombastic. If you guys do enjoy the video, please be sure to smash that like button, subscribe with notifications turned on. We're almost at 600k and comment down below if you'd like to see some more army men mod in the future let's get into it what's up gamers i'm here to tell you about instant gaming instant gaming is an amazing place where you can get some fire deals on all sorts of video games uh seriously it's like 60 to 95 percent off as you can see here uh these are all of the star wars titles they have they literally have every star wars title uh you can also get XCOM here men of war assault squad 2 all of the games i play on the channel you can buy here for extremely cheap prices if you use my affiliate link in the description it helps me out a ton so Thank you guys for listening to this sponsorship, and thank you to Instant Gaming for continuing to sponsor the channel. Alrighty then, boys, let's go ahead and press start right here, and the Green Army Ben should begin moving forward. Although it looks like only the guys on the far right are moving forward, and the middle guys aren't. Oh, and the guys on the far left, too. Okay, I don't know why that is, but I'm sure once the action starts, those guys will be moving as well. You know what? Let's go in normal speed until the actual firing starts. We've got the Shermans pushing on forward down the beach, trying to avoid these tank traps. They're kind of littered everywhere, so it might make for a bit of a challenge. And boom, baby! We've got our first shelling happening from a howitzah up here uh, that the Tans are operating. And it looks like it did... Uh, I don't think it struck the Sherman. I think it just landed right in front of it. But this Sherman, it appears to be struck by another howitzer over this way. Those howitzers are very good at anti-infantry, but not the best against tanks. So I'm not sure how effective they will be if they'll take out any of these Shermans. But there are plenty of bazooka troopers for the Tans. And a massive explosion rips into maybe 30 or 40 green army men over here from the tan artillery wiping out maybe two squads worth of troopers right there oh my god oh my the plastic manatee oh it's horrible dear lord all right we're gonna need some revenge on that because that is brutality right there the greens are taking cover behind the hedgehogs and trying to fire their shermans a little bit here another explosion rocking the beach not quite as big as the other one but it does get a kill right there my goodness what a what a disastrous uh, start for the greens right there, especially those folks down middle. That is brutality. Another howitzer shot comes in. It hits the Sherman and then glances off, striking eight more green army men in response. My God. Okay. And the Tans up here are firing a little bit with their small arms weapons. Not a crazy amount because these greens are still rather far away from them. A couple of Tans have gone down up here, probably from 50 cal fire from the Shermans. Nothing too crazy. So the Tan lines are certainly holding for the time being. We'll see if that sort of maintains its uh, position uh, throughout the long run of this battle. But right now it is looking pretty brutal for the greens down below. That is for sure. Oh my goodness. By the way, guys, I'd like to update you on the Army Men book I'm writing uh, every time we do uh, <laughs> an Army Men video. Um, and, and these videos honestly inspire me to keep writing it, so I like doing it. It's, it's very fun. Uh, currently, uh, we've moved... We're in, like, the, the sort of middle section of the book where 
uh, we're, we're starting to build towards the climactic end. So, yo, we're getting there. Uh, I'm writing about like 500 words per day, I would say. Um, and then I still have to edit it and stuff like that. So I'm hoping for early next year. Um, I was hoping to release it maybe around like December, um, but I, I think it is going to be a little bit longer. So yeah, the Army Men Civil War book, I get questions about it periodically in the Discord to see if I'm still writing it and stuff like that. And yes, I am. I've been working on it for a pretty long time now, but it's gone through many different revisions and stuff like that. So that's why it's taking so long. Beautiful tank shot against the... Uh, green army men right there holy cow but i will be sure to like do some sort of pre-order or something like that so people are aware of it as it's releasing and things like that um so you guys can get early copies or whatever and maybe i'll try and do like signed copies or something like that uh but i i will keep you guys up to date on the army men civil war book i'm super excited about it and i want to say thank you to everyone who has been showing interest in it because it makes me want to write more all right it looks like the greens are gunning for this howitzer up here they've killed one of the gunners on it but the other one is still alive here reloading the gun and firing out the greens are certainly taking some pretty hefty losses here but uh, at the very least they're moving up oh nice little glancing blow right there not sure it's going to be enough to kill the sherman but it does track it right there all right why don't we go ahead and bump it up a speed here uh, and really let these uh, green army men loose and attacking uh, there there are many a bodies on the uh, the sandy beaches here many many bodies Ooh, it is brutal out here and um all this barbed wire still is maintained and it looks like the only entrance point is going to be this one over here which gets run over by a sherman tank so if the shermans can go ahead and take down more of this barbed wire it'll give more opportunities for the greens to sort of move up in different positions some nice he shelling going on from the shermans hitting these trenches up here and taking out a number of soldiers which is good to see um but I mean, at the moment, the Tans are holding on really, really nicely. This howitzer does end up going down over here. Uh, so it's, uh, the Tans are taking some serious losses. They, they certainly are. Uh, but they've managed to wipe out a large number of these greens out here over time. Mortar shell landing right there doesn't really do much. Good for the greens that that didn't <laughs> have too much of an effect. Oh, more Tan dead bodies in some of these bunkers and foxholes. Yeah, they, they, this place has been ravaged pretty bad overall. For the tan defenders they've still got that mortar though this howitzer right here is dead they've still got a lot of infantry further up and here we go sherman pushing upwards um the tans do have a sherman back here and then they've still got these two large k-12 artillery pieces which could very well kill shermans that that is easily a sherman killer even though they likely only have he shots those he shots could absolutely bust the armor of a sherman all right let's go into normal speed here and watch as this thing crests up it, it could be devastating for the tan lines or it could go down very early and it goes down very early due to a bazooka shot crew member comes on out and gets diced uh, by some incoming tan rounds but it's okay the green army men infantry are now pushing upwards here they've still got a couple tanks uh well this one here is uh currently tracked so why don't we go ahead and get oh they're already repairing it nice they're repairing it all right cool i don't have to do anything there um, and then we've got another Sherman coming through over this way, and that'll break down another little uh, barbed wire line right there, which is helpful. And um, we got one pushing up this way with some of the infantry. I think with infantry support, maybe these Shermans could do some real damage, as long as the infantry manages to take out the bazooka troopers while they push up. Ooh. Oh, good attempt right there. There's lots of tans just waiting up there, though, uh, to gun that man down. This trench is completely destroyed. There's a couple guys in here, and there's a couple guys here. And then, of course, over that way, we've got even more troopers. All right, the Sherman's pushing up again. Come on, infantry. Go up with it. Come on. Nope, they are lagging behind, going extremely slowly. Oh. It does get hit by a bazooka shot. It's still rolling. Oh. Second one right to the engine. Blows it sky high. Yikes. Wow. Okay, the other Sherman's sort of like underneath this hill here. I don't know what exactly it's trying to do, but not super intelligent. We've got greens on the other side of this barbed wire here. Maybe going to take this path by storm. Um, looks like there is still a bazooka trooper up here. I think a quick grenade over this way would be very effective. Oh, this guy's going to do it for us. What was that grenade? My friend! Dear God, that was terrible. Wow, that was kind of pathetic. I don't know what what that was um <laughs> are we got we got troops going up over here okay a little bit more trying to push up these hills they're, they're gonna get caught in a pretty bad little valley here though 
which I think is risky. Yeah, these guys just getting sniped out. Oh, quite a number of bodies over this way, actually, too. Ooh, nice. Okay, yeah, get some grenades out there. I think grenading these guys might be the way to go. Just grenade up over the trenches, get some kills that way. Ah, it's rough. It's rough. This is kind of shockingly the the worst part of the battle for the greens. I thought the beach would be a lot harder. Um, and, and yes, they did take a lot of losses. Red are dead green soldiers. But this area here is going to be brutal. Actually, we can see how many tans are dead too. Yellow are dead tans, red are dead greens. Lots of dead tans across the battlefield. Um, but obviously the greens have taken more. All right, this green tank is pushing up. Come on, support your infantry. Infantry, support your tank. Oh, he's using this to blockade. Nice, 50 cal, letting loose, okay. There's a bazooka shot, he's right there. Uh, but he's not gonna go for him, is he? Oh, shot in the side, crew bails out. And it's gonna be Jover for that green tank right there. Oh, yikes, okie dokie then. Oh, the greens are suffering, man. All right, looks like they did take out this bazooka trooper here, not before losing a soldier to him, that's terrible. Um, Oh, come on, Piat, just fire. Oh, terrible shot. Fire another one. Okay, another terrible shot. Oh, those things can be used kind of like mortars, but you have to be smart. <laughs> you, have, you have to actually use them kind of like a mortar. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Oh, God. This is just a slaughter zone right here. Oh, they make it up the beach just to be nailed. Right there, this Sherman's doing absolutely nothing for him either. Yikes. Oh, grenade! Ah, oh, not the best grenade. I, I like... I like the gusto. I like the attempt. It's really solid, but it just wasn't uh, the spicy meat the ball that we needed. Oh, and then he goes just right back into that kill zone. How many kills does this Tan have now? Nine. Nine of those kills are by him. Oh! Good grenade over here. Clears out a few of those Tans. But then they just get right back into their position and kill the greens that were infiltrating. Yikes! Oh my lord. This is not good for the green soldiers, dude. Alright, why don't we go ahead and squad up a few of these greens. That way they just work together a little bit more and maybe push in simultaneously versus one at a time. Um, which can be helpful. Go ahead and do this for them. Um, well, I guess that tank can have a whole squad to itself there too. I wonder if that's going to help at all. I, I genuinely don't know. We have squatted these guys up a little bit. The, the left side over here seems the weakest. There's a, there's a few troops like further back here that could still kill some of these greens, but I feel like if they grenade it here and then bum rushed this area, maybe tried to grab the trench line? I don't know. It's really tough. They've got one Sherman left. Each Sherman attack has been really bad. It has been disastrous. Oh, God. Um, it seems like they might commit to this side over here. I don't know. I think... Oh, get a flamer up there. Yeah. Yeah, get the flamer up there. Yep, yeah, flame. Flambe him. Get him, get him, get him. Come on. Let it loose. Oh, my God. He's not firing. Come on, dude. Oh, he's not flying, uh, firing that flamer at all. Mm. More greens dying over here. As they attempt to push up and over. It's just not working super well. This guy's getting a few shots off with his M4A1 though. Thing's got an ACOG scope. It could do some uh, decent things. Perchance he's dead. Ah. Man, we got these sharpshooters back here and here. For the tans that are also just clobbering. This is just like a lockdown death box zone right here. The greens are just very incapable of making it up here. Oh, man. This is really, really tough, man. <laughs> this is a brutal, brutal area to be in. Uh, I don't know if the greens have this. They're, they've also got just a number of them just derping over here. At least the mortar. We're too close to the mortar for the mortar to hit them. I think the mortar hitbox is, like, right here. Otherwise, the angle is too steep and it won't fire. So that's good. Like, we're out of range of the mortar. Ooh, mass migration up. Oh, this might be it. This might be a good, good charge here. If you, if you just like launch like 30 greens into the kill box at once, you, the odds are you'll probably get a few kills and grind it down. You know? Oh, uh, they're taking shots. Mm. This is Rob's Realism mod as well, so um, it, it's only like one to three shots can kill. 
Oh. Okay. Really, uh, tossing a random artillery shell out there, aren't you? Look at these guys worming around over here. They're trying to work some magic. Alright, just stop and fire. Stop and fire. Okay. Oh, they're not stopping at all. Oop, they're just... They're bumming. They're bum rushing. Okay, it could work. Oh, they just need to get some shots off. My god. Oh my goodness. Alright, let's go in fast speed here. And just see... As they come up and over. They're just gonna die more, I have a feeling. Um... Yeah, they're just getting slaughtered, man. I do, sometimes during these battles, like, I wonder if I had control, would I even be able to do anything? Like, would I be capable of overcoming this area? I, I feel like I'd definitely be doing a better job than they're currently doing. Maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe, maybe once the rest of these greens have been exhausted and die, we'll just go in and, and we'll try this battle ourselves. And try and get the W by controlling the greens. I mean, call me, call me arrogant, but I, I think I could do this. I think the AI is definitely not up for the challenge. <laughs> oh man, it's rough. Yeah, the greens are pretty much dying out. They're a dying breed. All right, this is rough. This is real rough. <laughs> Let's let the the time lapse do the work here. Alright guys, the greens have basically been toasted here, um, the tans win, let's run it back with me commanding, just, I wanna see, wow, this guy has 76 kills and this guy has 3 tank kills, yikes dog, holy cow, wait, this guy has 9 kills, this guy has 6, and this guy has 7, I think maybe I could take it over, there's still a lot of tans left, but let's just give it a try, Let, why not? Alright guys, let's, let's give this a try, screw it, we're, we're in this thing. Um, alright, first of all, load up HE on the Shermans, and prevent them from moving any farther, actually. You guys need to stop, oop, yep, stop, 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 stop. <laughs> Please, no more movement, and just hold position for now. Uh, we're going to go for the howitzers first. We got one over here, I'm gonna let the infantry just do their own thing, though. That was a way overshot, holy cow, okay. Reload this sucker. We're going for howitzers. Hold on. Aim. Fire. Uh, close. Very close. Just targeted then, I suppose. Ooh. Okay. We're getting hit pretty hard over here on this one. Uh, that howitzer is already down. Very nice. Okay, good stuff. Let's, yeah, work on those guys. Um, infantry's moseying on forward here. That's good. There are a few, like, little dugouts here we could hit, like this. Nice, that'll hopefully have killed those guys. I'm not gonna check because I'm just lazy. Um, and then we've got one here too. Nope, that did not kill him. Hold on. Okay, that's not working. I am gonna pull this one Sherman up here. We're gonna launch the assault on the right side first. I think the right side is the best place to assault from. The only real obstacle over here is those troops in the dugout, which I think we can just grenade. And then on top of that, we've also got um, the, the Sherman back there, uh, but we do have ourselves five Shermans to utilize against it, and that might be enough. Um, let's see, you're damaged, get the pairs on that, and then you two are fine, which is good. Alright, bring it up, bring it on up, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you kindly. We need to kill that trooper right there, so, uh, get me some soldiers up there and just go and dice that guy up. Bring these guys up here. And, uh, just plop them, like, right there, actually. Good. Okay. Yeah, we just need to kill this fella. This fart smella. This smart fella. There we go. Okay, and then, uh, take out a granata! Okay, it's granata time, baby. How far can we yoat this? Well, first of all, get, uh, while he's shooting those guys, just come up here, cook it, throw it. Easy clap. Oh my god, so easy. <laughs> That's all you gotta do, baby. There's also some guys over here we need to kill. There's mesh over it, which can prevent grenades, but not in Rob's mod. <laughs> but not, not in Men of War, period, I think. Uh, Alright, we are going to bring the Sherman up. We're loading up APCR currently. 
and we're just gonna try and go for this Sherman here. Watch out, fellas. Ooh, is this too steep? This is too steep. That's that's a problem. All right, you guys get to cover. All right, fellas, get get to cover. Just find cover and get there. Oh, no, no, no. Pivot this way. All right, hold on. Pivot, pivot, pivot. Come on, quick, quick, quick. And take aim. Come on. All right. He missed. Fire. Oh, we missed. He's, he's dug in there. He dug in there nicely. We're going to try again. Hold on, hold on. Ooh. Did he hit us? Penetration, transmission damage. I think we can still fire, right? Are we still capable? We are. Oh, glancing blow. We can't move because the transmission's been damaged. Okay. Dappy dappy. Hold on, hold on. That was a decent shot. I think we main gun damaged it. That's good. Okay. You guys are going to hold position and push out that way. All right. I need a second tank up here that can move, baby. All right, good. You guys are going to hold position and move up that way. You guys are going to hold position and move up this way. We're just going to funnel soldiers in at the moment, okay? All right. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm concentrating on this side. For sure. It's the way to go. Um, move over there. Okay. We've got HE loaded in this puppy. We're gonna go for the big boomer over this way. That was a decent shot. I don't think it collided at all, though. It was close. It was close. All right, hold on. Hold the phone. Fire. Really? That didn't kill the crew? Massive explosion striking inside of that? Didn't do it? Okay, dude. And that one just hit the ground. Lit. <laughs> Very awesome. Right. Well, we've got this puppy in here. Kind of moving around a bit, a bit, just a bit. All right, that's good. That's good. It's getting a little laggy. We've got so many soldiers on the battlefield. Um, all right, bring these ones up. Bring these tanks on up. I think it might be time that we began our assault over here. Right, Slow mo. We're gonna commence the assault. And so, just bring guys into the kill zone a little bit here but flood them in and then secure the zones bit by bit, all right? And then I'm putting them on no move mode so they stop moving after they do that. I think that might be the play. We need to kill this thing. And how did that hit there? I'm genuinely not entirely sure. Okay, that's fine. Uh, bro, this thing is tight. I don't understand. Oh! Who did that? Which one of you hath crippled me? I have no idea. Okay. Um, I need a flamer. Where's a flamer? Looking for the flame symbol. We got a, we got a flamer here? We got any kind of flame unit? Oh, there's one. Nice. Okay, hold on. Ooh. Oh, jeez. Uh, he's like stuck here. No! He was stuck! God dang it. Alright, fine. Give me a grenade. Give me a grenade. We're gonna we're gonna cook these guys over here. Stop. Just give me a grenade, please. Dear God. Alright, hold on. These are actually very awkward clips to move around here. They're not great. I can understand why it was so hard before. That's a double kill. That's not bad. That ain't bad at all. Okay. Get on in there, boys. We need to watch this bazooka trooper. You know what? We'll bum rush him. We'll bum rush him. Screw it. Go! No, he just shot us again. That's fair. That makes total sense. Alright, you know what? We're moving this way. Kill that thing. Why do these take so much to kill? Why are they so powerful? Oh my god. Just move units in. Just say screw it and, and move units in, okay? Alright. Just move them on in. Oh man. Okay, we're getting slaughtered. Yeah, just a bit. Just a smidge. Grenade that guy. Nice. Okay, beautiful. Oop, sorry about that, guys. I had to pause for just a second there. Um, okay, we... That guy dodged the grenade, which sucks. Um, uh, I am being very liberal with the lives of my men, by the way. 
That was not a great grenade, but it did the trick. Okay. Yeah, we are being very, very liberal with the lives of our boys here. Um, let's see. Oh, that thing is dead now. That's good. That mortar's still up there. Um, I, I do think pushing up this way is still probably the best way to go. Um, yeah, the, the other side just seems super staunch. Super rough. Um, so I think just funneling more men this way would help. Um, let's bring this puppy around that way. This thing can still fire, which is nice, but it is immobilized. So it's limited in what it can do. Hmm. All right, what do we even have over here that we're dealing with? Get over there. Go, 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 go. Oh, he got sliced. That's fine. Um, yeah, let's move more troops this way. That thing did fully die too. Yeah, send some boys like further out in the more beyond the reaches areas. I think that'll help. And then while they're attacking, should we attempt to come up here? Let's give it a try with a squad. Go, go. Ooh, bazooka shot to the face. That's rough. Right, fire into them. Nice, good kills. That actually eliminated a, a quantity of them. Okay, there's like a guy over here. Let's move in. Come on, fellas. Let's go, go, go. All right, all right, we're looking good. I think this will be a dub. Of course, a very costly dub, but I mean, we're still rocking a lot of soldiers. We're still rocking a, a solid number. Um, we need someone to go in here and just wipe out this mortar. All right. Nice. Nice. Beautiful. Okay, good stuff. All right, the side over here has been completely eliminated. We just need to take out these guys over this way. So let's run a large flank on those fellas over there. And then also we're going to push up this way a little bit more. Right, start firing at them. Oh, lots of rockets going out. Holy smokes. That was intense. I get the vibe that this thing is damaged. It's not really firing. Oh, those piots. Oh my god, they survived all that? Holy cow. Okay. Well then, <laughs> that's rough. Yeah, here's a toughie. Here's a toughie. How did you get tracked? What? Okay, I'm confused. <laughs> that's fine. All right, we're still doing it. We're still getting her done. All right, we got... Oh, they're firing at this guy. Hold on, grenade these guys. That is going to be short. Oh, maybe? Oh, we got one, actually, I think. Nice. All right, cool. All right, hold on. Coming up over this way. Killed them. Nice. You guys go that way. These guys can fire into those guys. Oh, they're already dead. Nice. Oh, it's just the guy over here now. Beautiful. Nothing a little manpower can't handle. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, I feel like we actually did do a pretty good job with this. I mean, losses were going to be costly no matter what, but um, the fact that we still have like 200 soldiers maybe left alive is way better than having zero like last time. So come on, pee at him. Nice. There we go. No tans left alive. All right. So yellow are dead greens. Red are dead tans this time. Um, so, I mean, we did take a lot of losses still. Um, and on the beach is still many, many losses. Uh, but this time we were able to use grenades and the tanks to better uh, destroy the tan resistance over here this time around, which is very, very helpful. Either way, guys, that is going to be about it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Please be sure to hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and comment down below if you'd like to see some more. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Be sure to click that subscribe button for more content and hit the notification bell if you'd like to be alerted to whenever I live stream or upload. Thanks so much.